So I'm with the head teacher and the lovely lady. She was texting me saying, calm, calm, you should visit the kids. So how many kids? There are seven kids. Your seven kids? Seven kids. Look at that. So the whole class, they are four. Welcome. Hi. Baby class. Baby class. Fatima. Oh, I remember Fatima. Yes. yes. <laughs> how old are you? Five. Five? Yeah. You're a big girl. How many orphans I have stay 30 there? Orphans. 30. Yeah, 30. From what ages? From uh, age 7 to age uh, 17. Can I see that room? Yeah, can I? Yeah, you can. Thirty orphans from the age of seven to seventeen. This is the head teacher, by the way. My name is uh, Mr. Orlando. Mr. Orlando is doing an amazing <laughs> job. Thank you. So this, uh, this is their room. Yeah. And they share beds? They, they share, share beds, beds yeah. Because yeah. we don't have enough facility. Mm. We need, like, uh, no, they don't have enough beddings, blankets, mm -hmm. uh, bed sheets. Mm -hmm. And also, they don't have enough beds and mattresses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the food. And the food. Any teachers that stay over to take yeah. care of the kids? There's a teacher who stays around. Okay. Yeah. And they cook for them? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're going to go to the high school. These two beautiful girls are her daughters. Fatima is the youngest. Layla. They have beautiful names. Layla and Fatima. She's so shy. But you were staying with Auntie last time. Yes, my auntie did. But now you moved here. I've moved here. I, I, I prefer here because they so far. When and this place is not far. You know, they are my home there. <laughs> Her place is not far. You know, they are my home. When I sleep here, uh -huh. I go straight there to school. You see? No, I understand. Yeah. What's your goal and aspiration? I want to be a space engineer. Impressive. I want to be a police. I want to be a police. <laughs> yes. What is that? Like a police officer? A uh, police officer. Ah, Sawa. And you? I want to be a doctor. Scientist. Scientist? You look like a scientist. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything you guys need specifically to make your stay here easier? Yes. yes. Like what? You need you know, shoes. Mm -hmm. You need to you see. It, this one is getting small. Mm -hmm. So you, you could like to... <laughs> okay. Wearing a new uniform. Because he's growing very tall. Yeah. And strong. How old are you? <laughs> I'm getting 19 next year. 19? Oh, wow. We are getting the uniforms. Then we can put someone. Do we want to go find some food? And yeah. And then we'll make lunch together mm. for the kids. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. But for the orphans, right? Yeah, orphans. Yeah. Mm. That's okay. Wow, Layla, look Layla. at you! <laughs> you look wonderful, you look, you look wow! Yes, we do. Yes. They look so dapper, these guys! Say chapati! Say chapati! Chapati! Say chapati! 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 So now we're at the secondary school where her oldest son goes to. Nice, so now we're going to go to the supermarket. Lunch is at 1 o'clock. It's 10.30 now. So we need to get going. 
Uh, I am a mother who have five children, and five children are orphans. My sister's children, they are ten kids. So I'm suffering, no job, no everything. Always I sell sweets, uh, all these sweets. It is a challenge. I don't have the money to pay rent. Uh, sometimes they close the door. When we met you, mm. you told us a story last week. Mm. They beat the child, no school fees, no everything. They chase her away. Mm -hmm. He had a massive bruise yeah. on his head. And head and a nose. Mm -hmm. So they shown and they stitch. Mm -hmm. Ten, you see? Ten yeah. stitches here. Ten and three here. Wow. Yeah, ten and three. They beat a lot. And but now they've all gone to a better school. Where yeah. you came from. Mm. It's a mm. really good school. They appreciate my <laughs> daughter here buy for me uniforms for mm -hmm. the children. But now today, today they have new one. Brandy, <laughs> brandy. Yeah, they I appreciate. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have my child here, so I don't want uh, everything will be okay. Yeah. Uh, God bring her for me. Give me a child. Uh, I'll always love children. <laughs> <laughs> So the head teacher made a list. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to be cooking lunch anymore because lunch has passed. So we're going to make dinner. Mm -hmm. Watch a car. Hey. A little bit, little bit. After two weeks, yes, and since sister. you kiss Swahili, mm -hmm. everything that is Jaluo, that ki ki kisi, that ki luya, and wait, Cindy. Oh, okay. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> So this one's a lot bigger than the secondary school. Mm. The school provides breakfast and lunch for students. So then I decided to make dinner for the orphans. Make them some rice, cabbage, spinach, some beef, beans. I'm taking a break guys, but this is so good. I've been slaving away in the kitchen since what time is it now? I think it's like 4 30. And I've been here since 9.30 this morning. So just a little backstory. I met Khadija last week and then she was explaining how her son was well, actually her sister's son, but her sister passed away unfortunately. So she takes care of all her kids because they couldn't afford school fees. So then we helped her out and paid the school fees for her, but we advised her not to bring him back to that school. So she moved all the kids to this school. So she just messaged me this whole week saying, come, I'm super excited to show you the school that I've moved them to. And because I'm going to be going away very soon, I was like, okay, I can come today. 
so we decided that we would just meet up at the school I didn't think I was going to chill here the whole day but I don't mind it was fun the school also takes care of orphans they have 30 orphans and they have like 10 bunk beds so they do share beds and um, the school only provides them with breakfast and lunch so I decided to go to Naivas and grab them some groceries to make dinner for them and the teachers here they don't get paid anything so they're all volunteers even the ladies in the kitchen none of them get paid the government doesn't help these kids or this school which is really really sad but what can you do doing great it's Sunday today so I've already creamed my face and primed it I primed it with this primer by Essence I'm just gonna do a quick beat nothing too crazy um I need a mirror don't I let me just use this little one I am going back home for a little bit you know how I said I miss my family I really just need to see them and also I really wanted to spend Ramadan with them this year because last year I was doing it on my own and it can get pretty lonely so I don't know if I said but there's four of us I have two younger brothers and one older sister she's got four beautiful kids can't wait to see them and I was thinking of what to buy them the kids they don't really care for it I think my siblings, they don't really care for it. And neither does my mum. No one really cares, so... I guess I'm not gonna buy them anything. <laughs> Last time I was in the UK, I think it was like end of July... No, that's a line. June. I think I left in June. So July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February. Oh my god, I've been gone for... Eight months! This is honestly the longest I've stayed away from my family. Eight months I have not done proper shopping. One thing I definitely want to do is invest in some good skincare. I know I'm getting older and I still do believe that less is more. But I want to invest in like good, good skin products. Maybe even look into Korean skincare. I did a while back. But my problem is consistency. I just can't be bothered to do a skincare routine every single day, twice a day. That's just a lot. Um, my weight has definitely been fluctuating for the past couple of months so I don't want to make any impulse um, purchases so what I'm going to do is focus this month well the month of Ramadan yes yeah, so I want to focus this month of Ramadan to hit the gym properly you guys you know the struggle um, so next after I color correct I usually conceal but I conceal with a shade that's a tiny bit darker let me use this LA girl in number 83. I am not happy with where I'm at. So the whole of Ramadan, I really want to just focus on the gym as well. After Ramadan, I deserve a shopping spree. I have so much makeup. There's even makeup that I haven't even opened. But I just want new makeup. I want new makeup. But I just want to experiment now with makeup a little bit. Like, I'm not a big eyeshadow fan, and I do like the whole clean girl makeup. And I think that's what suits my face the most. As much as I hate the UK, I really need to work on my mindset and try to keep it positive. And the foundation I'm going to be using is the NARS. I am the shade Tahoe, but I'm also going to mix it with this L'Oreal. And what shade is this? I don't know. But anyway, these two, because normally I'm this colour, but because obviously I've tanned a lot, I'm going to mix it with a darker shade. To be honest, I don't even think I necessarily need foundation right now. But I'll just do a tiny bit. Mm, I think I can go a little bit darker. 
But the thing with this one is it kind of oxidizes, so I don't want to go too, too, too dark. I think that's good. One thing I've already done, guys, I've already packed. I'm not fully done yet, but I've packed most of my stuff. Uh, my bedroom is fully empty. Because I know for a fact when I come back, I'm moving out of here for sure. I've gone to so many apartment viewings and there are so many nice ones that I've seen. And I haven't filmed everything. But I know for a fact I'm literally just coming back here to pick up my stuff. So I can't be gone for too long. Because one thing I don't want to do is rush to move out of here to go to a place that I might hate as much or even more so because i'm so indecisive like i know i hate this apartment like someone in the comment section last i think two videos ago must have said every time you come in here you just speak so negatively or you're so unhappy about the apartment which is completely true i hate this place but for now i'm just gonna stay put until i come back and i'm able to secure a place I'm fully happy with. I wish you could like have a trial run or something in apartments, like a month, stay in the apartment for a month just to see the vibes. You know? So that was the Born This Way concealer in the shade Cookie. Sorry guys, I can't talk and do makeup at the same time. What I'm saying is, um, yes, I've gone to a lot of viewings and I've seen, you know, a lot of apartments, some that I even actually like. But just because of the fact that I know that I'm going, but I don't know exactly how long I'm going to be gone for, I didn't want to make any rash decisions in, you know, moving all my stuff to the new apartment. At least here, as much as I hate it, it's still a little bit bearable for the time being, especially just knowing that it's temporarily. So, yeah, I've just decided to pack up my stuff. And then when I come back, inshallah, to really be serious about moving, whether that's moving back home or moving to another country or moving... I don't know, but we'll see. For now, I still like it here in Kenya. And I don't really see myself moving anytime soon. But one thing I don't want to do anymore is just make a rash decision. Because I feel like I kind of did with this place. It looked so nice. I was like, oh my god, yes, why not? I didn't even look around. Because there's so many places that are so much better than this apartment. And I was even thinking of... Because apartments have never really been my thing. Like, I've always lived in a house. And I found houses just to be more homely and you can really connect with your house. Whereas here, you have strangers walking down the corridor, you know? And I don't really like that. There's this one girl that I've seen on TikTok. I forgot her name, but the way that girl slays her face, I'm like, baby, I need to be like you. So I'm going to try and contour a little bit. I like bronzing, not contouring, but let's contour a tiny bit. The thing I like about this Rare Beauty contour stick, especially this shade, whatever shade this is, full of life. It's so warm. I wish I'd gone for a shade darker because this really blends in your skin and it's not harsh and I love how warm this colour is. I think we can do one more layer. Let's see if this is buildable. I don't know why, my makeup just never finishes. I bought this, I don't want to break it, when I was in the UK, eight months ago, look at it. But I barely use it, maybe that's why. But even my foundation, guys, do you know when I bought this, I'm so embarrassed to even say this because I'm sure it's even expired. I bought this two years ago. Why is it not finished yet? And I use it all the time. But maybe it's because I mix and I use different foundations sometimes. Because the same goes with these concealers. Babes, I had them for at least two years. I don't even think this is really contouring. I'm just bronzing my face and just giving it more colour. Obviously, I'm going to be continuing to vlog when I go back home. But I do want to know what type of videos you guys want to see. I am definitely going to start doing try on hauls now. Because we got options. You guys want me to do a Q&A and to talk a little bit more about myself? I'm such a secretive person for no reason. For no, no reason. Do you want to change that a little bit? Because 
I don't think it's fair, especially for those that tune in every time. Um, I just want to be a little bit more personable with you guys. Oh, this is cute. I cannot wait to get my lips done again. So I've had my lips done twice in the space of three years, I want to say. So the first time when I got it done, I had one ml. Second time, I had 0 0.5. Uh, I think this time around, I'm going to go for another 0 0.5 because I don't really need that much. I think I might top up a little bit on the blush. I don't know. But I'm going to set this all with this setting spray by... Girl, I don't know where... I, I got this on TikTok. My body just metabolizes the product very slowly and therefore the filler just retains in my lip a little bit longer. So I am glad that I don't have to get top up every six months because I don't think I would do that. A, it's not maintainable and B, I don't want to have that much product in my body even though it's just hyaluronic acid. So, and I'm going to add some revolution fixing spray. So it's a mini dress, it's super long. I do like this dress, but it's just not the occasion. So this is my first option. And now I'm kind of not feeling it. They're both the same length, it's also a mini dress, but this is just more comfortable. Option number three is just this basic black midi skirt. It's like a silky material. Um, this with, well, let me show you, um, with this top that I got from Zara years ago. I think I've only worn it once, to be honest. <sighs> and this is a little bit, too, this is a little too revealing, though. Like your whole boobies are out. I think I might stick to this. So there's this one place. It's on, I think it's on Oli Tok Tok Road in Kilimani, like in between Kilimani and Lavington. And it's a Japanese spot, but owned by Koreans. And they also have like Korean shop. I'm sure I must have vlogged. I've gone there so many times. They have amazing food. And I just want to try the food one more time before I leave. Plus I need to check up on a little friend of mine. So they have this beautiful little cat that was pregnant, about to pop. I think she gave birth. So I have to go see her before I leave. She's so, so, so cute. The prettiest cat I've ever seen in my life. Like this cat should be a model. I want to show you guys the painting that I got the other day from Orca Deco. Um, he hung them up, so that's why I couldn't show you. But it's a little bit wonky. The middle one is not straight. So this place is called Sushi So, and it's on Oli Tok Tok Road in Kirimani. So my friend Brandon Lee found this place. And we've been coming here quite a lot for the past two months. They have amazing food. I usually go for the veggie ramen, the Korean ramen, but fortunately it's sold out today. So I'm going for uh, chubachi. I don't know how to pronounce it. And then just a California roll. But this place, they have this beautiful cat that I told you about. I'll show you guys in a minute when she comes. So she was pregnant and she was going to give birth. And apparently she gave birth a few weeks ago. But they've taken the kittens. They, they always serve you these three things, well, four things actually like aubergine, kimchi, and cabbage. And then a miso soup as well. This is so delicious. And this is just standard. Last noodle with veggies and beef. I haven't tasted it yet. This is the prettiest cat I've ever seen. She's so beautiful. I'm somewhat done. I know it doesn't look like it. If only you guys could see this mess in front of me. Uh, let me show you actually. So I have all these boxes and I have loads more boxes. That box is full. It's a lot going on. I think that's in here. Forget this suitcase. I'm not taking that purple suitcase. This suitcase in here. I can't 
can't even close it. But all I've taken is like gym stuff, so I don't even know why it's so full. And mind you, my toiletry, my makeup is like all here. <sighs> if only you guys could see the state of that bathroom. I haven't even packed my toiletry. It's giving me anxiety. Yes, it is. But I don't know what's in it. I want to take none of my clothes with me. All I want to take is PJs and gym clothes. That's all I'm taking. But why is it so packed? I'm allowed two 23 kg, which I personally don't. This definitely isn't 23, but once I put my toiletry, it will be. Plus, I'm taking three kilos of the Ethiopian butter with me. Ooh, girl. No, I have to look at this again. Some of this stuff needs to go. Usually when I travel, I always travel with three suitcases. Like two big ones and one carry-on. But this time, I don't want to carry anything. So I'm traveling with two suitcases, two big ones, and I'm going to be checking in both of them. <sighs> it's just a lot. I hate packing. It's getting late guys, I need to wash my makeup off. I will finish the rest tomorrow. I am tired. So I want to wash my makeup off. So I've done pretty much most of it. It's looking good. Let me show you guys. So I've got one, two, three, four boxes. These two suitcases, which I'm not going to take, full of clothes. I'm pretty much done. It's just small bits and bobs now. And there's bathroom, but I'll tackle that tomorrow. It's going to feel so weird coming back to a complete empty house. But it's a good thing. I'm really happy that I'm doing this now. So then when I come back, I don't have to worry about packing my stuff because everything is literally in suitcases ah, and boxes. If I do decide not to come back, then it will be a quick trip just to put all my stuff in storage. This is exciting. I'm really happy. It's feeling not final, but like I'm moving in the right direction. You know, the other day, I accidentally drank a whole cup of tap water. It was an accident. I don't know how, I did not realise. Mind you guys, I've never drank tap water in Kenya. I don't even brush my teeth. I only brushed my teeth with tap water twice and both times I got like a throat infection. I don't know if you guys remember. I think it was both times when I first moved here. No, was it when I first moved? Yeah, when I first moved here. And when I got back last time, I forgot. So I don't even do my wudu with tap water. I always use bottled water. But I went to my auntie's place and then my little niece, she must have given me a cup of water. And I drank it and then I went back to the kitchen and asked my auntie, oh, and because it, it wasn't a bottle, I was like, oh, is this a bottle of water? And then she was like, no, it's not, it's tap water. I'm like, hmm, I drank a whole glass. Well, thank God nothing happened. I love this cleanser. Squeaky clean. I want a cup of tea. 
but we're gonna have some lemon and ginger because I've already had two cups of Kenyan tea today. It's the next day. I have been running errands the whole day. I am going to be going home in a few hours and I'm not even done packing. So this is what you get for leaving everything to the last minute. So I've packed most of my clothes, but I don't know where my um, abaya is. So I'm going to sleep wearing my prayer gown. Um, I have to pick up a few things. I want to go past BBS Mall. And I have to go to Kilimani as well because uh, I left a few things because I was staying at my aunt's place for a few days. So it's nearly eight o'clock. BBS more close at 11, so I think 10 or 11, so I have time. And I wanted to leave a little bit late because I didn't want to be stuck in traffic, but I'm not done packing yet. Um, so I have decided I am going to take two, three suitcases actually because. Even though I'm not taking no clothes with me, I don't know what those two suitcases are packed with. I have no idea. But the room looks a little bit better. I definitely have made progress. I'll show you guys when I get back. But I need to get going before it gets too late. And I have such a headache because I woke up so early. I tried to take a nap around 5 o'clock, but then I just couldn't fall asleep. And the weather today is cool. Like, it's nice and cool outside. So I like that. To sleep we go. I want to give myself an hour and a half and I want to be back home because I got shit. I could teach you how to fall if you just let a nigga be. We be so hot as we so low key. She want to fly with you, let's make three. Guys, this smells so good. Yeah. 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 I don't like Atter because it gives me a headache, but I know my mom's gonna love it. Oh, it smells good, but I think my favourite one is this one. Oh, this smells so good. But then this is nice too, and so is this. So this smells very fresh. This smells fresh and rich. This is something I would pick for myself. It was more on the sweeter side. But I know my mum is not really a big fan of sweet perfume. I think I'm gonna go for this one. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so these two. They smell so nice. My cousin got this last time. Give this to my sister. There's something wrong. This one's something wrong, I can't it's smell it. Oh, yeah. Take coffee. I did. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice. Oh, this is nice too. Oh, okay. I like these two. I can't smell anything more. Oh my god. It's going down my throat. There's one missing out here. Oh. <laughs> I got three perfumes and one atta, and then two onsi. Is that it for ten thousand nine hundred? I think it's a pretty good deal. But yes, let's go grab some food first. Oh, oh. me, uh, Hassan. Mm. My friend is Abubakar. <laughs> Abubakar. Yeah. I'm a bucker. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Cool. I'll be back. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you so much. Have a good night. You too. Bye. So not the first entrance. So they have like a few entrances. Um, the main entrance, basically. The main entrance, when you come in, on the ground floor, first shop on your left, 
that's where I got this from. So I got this from my mummy. So this is Atad. Smells really, really good. And then I got these two incense. They smell so amazing. I know they said they didn't want anything, but mm, oh yeah. This one is very strong. So I got these two for my brothers. I just didn't want to go to empty handy. This one for my sister. She's gonna love it because my cousin got this one and it smells so good. And I got a few little lip glosses for my nieces. Didn't really get anything for my nephew, but I'll just get him something when I'm there. So now I'm gonna pack and I'll see you guys later. You can wait until I've got a mom. Flawless, flawless, baby, what you call this? If this shit don't involve money, I'm off it. I can be your own model. Let me address. Before we end it, no more ghost rights on GT3. No more war shows, no MTV. So you won't step back and tell you leave. That's where you gon' go after you can with me. I done seen it all for I turn 23. I could teach you how to fall if you just let a nigga be We be so proud as why we so low key She wanna fly with you, let's make three I'll be your own model Don't need a house tomorrow So I am all done I've got six boxes And the bathroom I'll finish that tomorrow Because I'm still going to need the toilet tree And then yeah all my suitcases are outside. I'm just gonna clean up this place, just mop the floor real quick, and then um, go to bed because my flight is in a few hours. Yes, alhamdulillah, it has gone very smooth, even though I did everything so last minute. No complaints, no complaints. I need to wash my makeup off, hop in the shower, and then tomorrow morning, we are going home, God willing. I'm gonna miss this view though. This view, you guys, it's everything. But my bed is done up really nicely, so I don't even want to sleep in it. My wardrobe, everything is empty. This bathroom is squeaky clean. Yes. I just love coming home, especially after a trip to a clean place. So, probably just gonna knock out on the sofa which is super comfortable anyway. So at least I don't fall into like a deep, deep sleep and I won't miss my flights. Get at least a few hours in. This is too much, guys. 
girl, it's never enough for you. But you can wait until I feel more. Flawless, flawless, baby, what you call this? If this shit don't involve money, I'm off it. I can be your role model. Let me Andrews. Shows no MTV. So you won't step back and tell you leave. It's when you go after you with me. I done seen it all before I turn 23. I could teach you how to fall if you just let a nigga be. We be so hot as why we so low key. She wanna fly with you, let's make three. I'll be your own model. Don't need a house tomorrow. So guys, I'm officially here and now I'm just waiting for a cab to take me home. My family just called me, they have no clue that I'm here even though I thought they knew, but apparently they don't. So that's interesting.